Well, new information for you this morning. After a woman is pulled from her burning home, but firefighters describe it as being more like a maze. We spoke with fire officials on scene who have some important advice for you in case something like this, perish to thought, should ever happen to you. Brooke Moore is live now in our newsroom with a lesson we all can learn from. Brooke? Well, right now, fire officials say it's going to take a while for them to find out what started the flames, and that's because of all the clutter they faced inside the home. Fire crews turned on to Alaska Street after 9.30 last night. When they pulled up to the home, people outside told them they'd tried to get the woman out themselves. Firefighters hurried to cut the window out, but things became tough as they felt their way through the dark home. We're told the woman had so many of her belongings, blocking areas you normally walk, that it took firefighters longer than usual. Once she was rescued, the woman was quickly taken to Miami Valley Hospital. But another thing that gave firefighters a fight was the condition of the woman's yard. Trees and bushes were so overgrown that creating a clear path was difficult. And that's why fire officials wanted you to hear this. But in cases like this, if the people would, if the citizen would cut back their shrubbery, it would make our job a lot easier. Chief Herbert Redden also tells us a firefighter was checked out by a medic on scene for exhaustion. At last check, the woman is in critical condition. Stick with 2 News and WDTN.com for any updates. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today.